In this video you will learn how to implement a plugin of the files on your website in an easy way. And the sponsor of this video is Filestack, which is exactly a solution to our problem. I really think that implementing a plugin of the files on your website is a difficult task. Why is that? First of all, we must implement something on the frontend, like for example a model or some upload button which will be styled nicely to show how we are uploading a file. And actually you also want to implement the drag and drop to be nice and comfortable for the user. But it is not all, we also must implement a backend part, which will get all our files that we are uploading into our system. Our next step will be to save this data to your file system and also to write this data to the database. And this is not all, you might also want to move all your files at some point to CDN, to make it easier for a server and to deliver files faster. And if you want additionally to implement some different providers to upload files, maybe you want to give a possibility to your users to upload files from their Instagram, Facebook or Dropbox. As you can see there are a lot of steps, this is why this process is not easy. This is why here is much easier solution for you. We can use an additional service which is called Filestack. And actually it is not a free service, you can see here pricing, but there is also a free tier. So you can test how it works. The main idea of this service is that you simply write several lines of code and you can upload your files directly there. As you can see here you are getting a nice model just out of the box. What you want to do in the front end you simply need to call a model of their library. For example this is how this window will look like. And here we have out of the box different providers like for example Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox and Google Drive. We can also take just a local file or drag and drop it here, it is supported out of the box. And here we can take some photo and just upload it. After this we can make some adjustments like maybe crop, rotate or make a circle. For example let's make a circle and hit save. After this we are getting a progress bar and our file will be uploaded. And as you can see my file was successfully uploaded to this server. And if I will try to open this file you can see that it goes to the CDN which actually means our file is directly stored in CDN. So in this case we should not bother with implementing frontend, backend, database, storing files or uploading them to CDN. This service is doing everything for us. So let's first try to use it just with plain JavaScript. As you can see here on the left I have an empty index.html page and on the right I have my main JS. Our first step here will be to inject a script or file stack API. As you can see here I am using Filestack.js from Filestack API and here is version 3x6 which is meaning the last version 3. Now let's write some markup. First of all here we want a button. For example inside our div we can create a button to upload the file. So let's call it button class upload and we will use here classes just to bind to the elements. So here let's close the button and inside let's write upload file. Now let's create an image tag where inside we can throw our image after we upload it to file stack. This is why here let's create one more div and inside I want to create an image. So here we will have image source, we don't have source because by default it is empty. And here I want to say width to 100 and height to 100 pixels. And also we need here a class for example logo. Let's check this out in browser, as you can see we now have an upload button and we have this image which doesn't have any source. Now let's find these elements, first of all we need here a button, so here we can use document, query selector and we find our button with class upload. After this I can just copy paste our button and we must find our image, so here will be document query selector logo. And we also want to attach a listener click for our button. This is why here let's write button, add event listener, here we will have our click event and inside we will have our function. So what we want to do inside, we want to call file stack API. How we can do that? First of all we need to use an API key from our account. So first of all you must register an account to file stack and then when you are logged in here on the right you can see an API key. You can just click here copy and paste it inside some variable. For example let's create a variable API key and store inside our string. After this we want to create an instance of file stack. So here we can create a property client and we just call here file stack dot init. How we are getting file stack? This is a property inside window because here we injected this file stack API script. 
So here we're writing file stack init and inside we must provide our API key. Now we also must create an options for our applauder. This is why here let's create an options and we must write inside at least one property. We want to have a callback for our success of uploading an image. This is why here inside we can write on upload done and this is a callback for upload and inside we are getting our upload response. And actually this is not a single element because this is an array, because we can upload multiple files. This is why here we have a function and inside first of all I can write console log on upload done and here let's look on our response. After this we can just call our client dot picker and here inside we are providing our options and after this dot open, which actually means this line will open for us a model of file stack. Let's check this out, I am reloading the page, here is our upload file, I am just clicking and we are getting this nice model from file stack, which actually means we don't need to do anything on the front end, we are getting it out of the box. So here we can select or drag and drop our file, let's use here YouTube logo, we are getting here an image, now here we can click upload and just see our progress bar. After our file was uploaded, model is automatically closed and we are getting our callback and this is what we can see in the console. So we see our on upload done and here we have failed files and uploaded files. In our case we have just a single file, here we can see it on position 0, we can see here our file name, but the most interesting part for us is URL. This is actually the CDN URL of file stack and we can directly open this image inside browser. So what I want to do now is set this URL as the source of our image. This is why here inside our on upload done we can write our image. This is our DOM element set attribute and we want to set here attribute source and we can write inside upload response and we know that this is an array so dot files uploaded is an array and we want to take here first element dot URL. Let's check this out, I'm hitting upload file, selecting the file again, YouTube logo, let's click upload. And now as you can see directly after upload, our file was rendered on the client, which actually means directly after uploading we can already use this file on our frontend. What is also interesting now, we can jump inside our dev portal, inside assets, and here on the bottom you can see all files that I uploaded, and here we can take all URL links if we forgot them. And actually here as you can see today I uploaded just recently two files. So now you know how we can use file stack with plain JavaScript, but can we use it with the framework? And actually here I already generated Angular application and here we will just try to use file stack in a matter of seconds. First of all we must install two packages. So here I am writing yarn add and the first package will be file stack-js and actually this is exactly a javascript of the library itself. Our second dependency here is a binding of this library to angular. This is why here yarn add add file stack slash angular. Our next step is to jump inside app module.ts and here we can add file stack module dependency. After we injected a dependency we can directly use file stack component inside our html. And this is how a typical usage will look like. So we have here ngpk overlay and this is a component of file stack. Now inside we must provide our API key and we also have two outputs, upload success and upload error. Now inside we just need to throw an element which will trigger an opening of the model. For example button open picker. Now what we must do here inside a component, we must get a file stack API key. And actually this is an API key, this is why it makes a lot of sense to put it inside environment variables. This is why here I will jump in source, environments, environment TS, and here inside I can add a new key, file stack, API key. And inside I just paste a string from my account. Now let's jump back inside our component. So what we want to do here, we want to create a property, file stack API key. Because we must assign a property from our environment dot file stack API key to our public property inside app component. In this case this API key will go inside this component. Now here we also must implement upload success and upload error. So first of all upload success, here we are getting our response and this is object. And inside I want simply to write console log res and here is our response. I will just copy paste this upload success and write upload error. And here we are getting an error and its type is any. 
So let's console log here our error. Now let's check if it's working. Here is our Angular application. We can click open picker. We're getting here our nice model where we can upload the file. Here is our file, we just click upload, and as you can see inside console we are getting our res, which actually means here is our success. And inside we see exactly the same output, files uploaded, and here is our file. Here we can find our URL, which actually means we can use this URL directly inside our Angular application. As you can see file stack simplifies uploading of images to your websites to several lines of code. This is why if you want to learn more about file stack, don't forget to check a link in the description box below.